CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 7 Fractions Page 147 Part 3 7.8 Like Fractions Fractions with same denominators are called like fractions. Thus, 1 15th, 2 15th, 3 15th, 8 15th are all like fractions. Are 7 27th and 7 28th like fractions? Their denominators are different. Therefore, they are not like fractions. They are called unlike fractions. Write five pairs of like fractions and five pairs of unlike fractions. Page 148 7.9 Comparing Fractions Sohni has three and half rotis in her plate and Rita has two three upon four rotis in her plate. Who has more rotis in her plate? Clearly, Sohni has three full rotis and more and Rita has less than three rotis. So, Sohni has two more rotis. Consider half and one-third as shown in figure 7.12. The portion of the whole corresponding to half is clearly larger than the portion of the same whole corresponding to one-third. So, half is greater than one-third. But often it is not easy to say which one out of a pair of fractions is larger. For example, which is greater, one-fourth or three-tenth? For this, we may wish to show the fractions using figures, as in figure 7.12. But drawing figures may not be easy, especially with denominators like 13. We should therefore like to have a systematic procedure to compare fractions. It is particularly easy to compare like fractions. We do this first. Try these. 1. You get one-fifth of a bottle of juice and your sister gets one-third of the same size of a bottle of juice. Who gets more? 7.9.1 Comparing like fractions Like fractions are fractions with the same denominator. Which of these are like fractions? Two-fifth, three-fourth, one-fifth, seven upon two, three-fifth, four-fifth, four-seventh. Page 149. Let us compare two like fractions, 3 8 and 5 8. In both the fractions, the whole is divided into eight equal parts. For 3 8 and 5 8, we take 3 and 5 parts respectively out of the eight equal parts. Clearly, out of eight equal parts, the portion corresponding to 5 parts is larger than the portion corresponding to 3 parts. Hence, 5 8 is greater than 3 8. Note the number of the parts taken is given by the numerator. It is therefore clear that for two fractions with the same denominator, the fraction with the greater numerator is greater. Between 4 5th and 3 5th, 4 5th is greater. Between 11 upon 20 and 13 upon 20, 13 upon 20 is greater, and so on. Try these. 1. Which is the larger fraction? 1. 7 tenth or 8 tenth? 2. 11 upon 24 or 13 upon 24? 3. 17 upon 102 or 12 upon 102? Why are these comparisons easy to make? 2. Write these in ascending and also in descending order. A. 1 eighth, 5 eighth, 3 eighth. B. 1 fifth, 11 upon 5, 4 fifth, 3 fifth, 7 upon 5. C. 1 seventh, 3 seventh, 13 upon 7, 11 upon 7, 7 upon 7. 7.9.2 7 Comparing unlike fractions. Two fractions are unlike if they have different denominators. For example, one third and one fifth are unlike fractions. So are two third and three fifth. Unlike fractions with the same numerator. 
consider a pair of unlike fractions one third and one fifth in which the numerator is the same. Which is greater, one third or one fifth? Page 150. In one third, we divide the whole into three equal parts and take one. In one fifth, we divide the whole into five equal parts and take one. Note that in one third, the whole is divided into a smaller number of parts than in one fifth. The equal part that we get in one third is therefore larger than the equal part we get in one fifth. Since in both cases we take the same number of parts, that is one, the portion of the whole showing one third is larger than the portion showing one fifth, and therefore one third is greater than one fifth. In the same way, we can say two third is greater than two fifth. In this case, the situation is the same as in the case above, except that the common numerator is two, not one. The whole is divided into a large number of equal parts for two fifth than for two third. Therefore, each equal part of the whole in case of two third is larger than that in case of two fifth. Therefore, the portion of the whole showing two-third is larger than the portion showing two-fifth and hence two-third is greater than two-fifth. We can see from the above example that if the numerator is the same in two fractions, the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater of the two. Thus, one-eighth is greater than one-tenth, three-fifth is greater than three-seventh, four-ninth is greater than four-eleventh and so on. Let us arrange 2 upon 1, 2 upon 13, 2 ninth, 2 fifth, 2 seventh in increasing order. All these fractions are unlike, but their numerator is the same. Hence, in such case, the larger the denominator, the smaller is the fraction. The smallest is 2 thirteenth, as it has the largest denominator. The next three fractions in order are 2 ninth, 2 seventh, 2 fifth. The greatest fraction is 2 upon 1. It is with the smallest denominator. The arrangement in increasing order therefore is 2 upon 13, 2 ninth, 2 seventh, 2 fifth, 2 upon 1. Page 151. Try these. 1. Arrange the following in ascending and descending order. A. 1 upon 12, 1 upon 23, one fifth, one seventh, one upon fifty, one ninth, one upon seventeen. B. Three seventh, three upon eleven, three fifth, three upon two, three upon thirteen, three fourth, three upon seventeen. C. Write three more similar examples and arrange them in ascending and descending order. Suppose we want to compare two third and three fourth. Their numerators are different and so are their denominators. We know how to compare like fractions, that is, fractions with the same denominator. We should therefore try to change the denominators of the given fractions so that they become equal. For this purpose, we can use the method of equivalent fractions, which we already know. Using this method, we can change the denominator of a fraction without changing its value. Let us find equivalent fractions of both two-third and three-fourth. Two-third is equal to four-sixth is equal to six upon nine is equal to eight upon twelve is equal to ten upon fifteen is equal to dash. Similarly, three-fourth is equal to six upon eight is equal to nine upon twelve is equal to twelve upon sixteen is equal to dash. The equivalent fractions of two-third and three-fourth with the same denominator 12 are 8 upon 12 and 9 upon 12 respectively. That is, 2 third is equal to 8 upon 12 and 3 fourth is equal to 9 upon 12. Since 9 upon 12 is greater than 8 upon 12, we have 3 fourth is greater than 2 third. Example 6. Compare 4 fifth and 5 sixth. Solution. The fractions are unlike fractions. Their numerators are different too. Let us write their equivalent fractions. 4 fifth is equal to 8 upon 10, is equal to 12 upon 15, is equal to 16 upon 20, 
is equal to 20 upon 25, is equal to 24 upon 30, is equal to 28 upon 35, is equal to dash. And 5 sixth is equal to 10 upon 12, is equal to 15 upon 18, is equal to 20 upon 24, is equal to 25 upon 30, is equal to 30 upon 36, is equal to dash. Page 152. The equivalent fractions with the same denominator are 4 fifth is equal to 24 upon 30 and 5 sixth is equal to 25 upon 30. Since 25 upon 30 is greater than 24 upon 30, so 5 6 is greater than 4 5. Note that the common denominator of the equivalent fractions is 30, which is 5 multiplied by 6. It is a common multiple of both 5 and 6. So, when we compare two unlike fractions, we first get their equivalent fractions with a denominator, which is a common multiple of the denominators of both the fractions. Example 7. Compare 5 sixth and 13 upon 15. Solution. The fractions are unlike. We should first get their equivalent fractions with a denominator, which is a common multiple of 6 and 15. Now, 5 multiplied by 5 divided by 6 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25 upon 30. 13 multiplied by 2 divided by 15 multiplied by 2 is equal to 26 upon 30. Since 26 upon 30 is greater than 25 upon 30, we have 13 upon 15 is greater than 5 sixth. Why LCM? The product of 6 and 15 is 90. Obviously, 90 is also a common multiple of 6 and 15. We may use 90 instead of 30. It will not be wrong. But we know that it is easier and more convenient to work with smaller numbers. So, the common multiple that we take is as small as possible. This is why the LCM of the denominators of the fractions is preferred as the common denominator. Exercise 7.4 1. Write shaded portion as fraction. Arrange them in ascending and descending order using correct sign less than, equal to, greater than between the fractions. We have different figures given here. Page 153. C. Show 2 sixth, 4 sixth, 8 upon 6 and 6 upon 6 on the number line. Put appropriate signs between the fractions given. 5 sixth dash 2 sixth. 3 sixth dash 0. 1 sixth dash 6 upon 6. 8 upon 6 dash 5 sixth. 2. Compare the fractions and put an appropriate sign. A. 3 sixth dash 5 sixth. B. 1 seventh dash 1 fourth. C. 4 fifth dash 5 upon 5. D. 3 fifth dash 3 seventh. 3. Make five more such pairs and put appropriate signs. 4. Look at the figures and write less than or greater than equal to between the given pairs of fractions. A. 1 sixth dash 1 third B. 3 fourth dash 2 sixth C. 2 third dash 2 fourth D. 6 upon 6 dash 3 upon 3 E. 5 sixth dash 5 upon 5 Make five more such problems and solve them with your friends. 5. How quickly can you do this? Fill appropriate sign, less than, equal to, greater than. A. Half dash one fifth. B. Two fourth dash three sixth. C. Three fifth dash two third. D. Three fourth dash two eighth. E. Three fifth dash six upon five. F. Seven ninth dash three ninth. Page 154. G. 1 fourth dash 2 eighth. H. 6 tenth dash 4 fifth. I. 3 fourth dash 7 eighth. J. 6 tenth dash 3 fifth. 
K five seventh dash fifteen upon twenty one. Six. The following fractions represent just three different numbers. Separate them into three groups of equivalent fractions by changing each one to its simplest form. A. 2 twelfth. B. 3 fifteenth. C. 8 upon 50. D. 16 upon 100. E. 10 upon 60. F. 15 upon 75. G. 12 upon 60. H. 16 upon 96. I. 12 upon 75. J. 12 upon 72. K. 3 eighteenth. L. 4 upon 25. 7. Find answers to the following. Write and indicate how you solved them. A. Is 5 ninth equal to 4 fifth? B. Is 9 sixteenth equal to 5 ninth? C. Is 4 fifth equal to 16 upon 20? D. Is 1 fifteenth equal to 4 upon 30? 8. Ila read 25 pages of a book containing 100 pages. Lalita read two fifths of the same book. Who read less? 9. Rafiq exercised for three sixths of an hour, while Rohit exercised for three fourths of an hour. Who exercised for a longer time? 10. In a class A of 25 students, 20 passed with 60% or more marks. In another class B of 30 students, 24 passed with 60% or more marks. In which class was a greater fraction of students getting with 60% or more marks? 7.10 Addition and Subtraction of Fractions So far in our study we have learnt about natural numbers, whole numbers and then integers. In the present chapter, we are learning about fractions, a different type of numbers. Whenever we come across new type of numbers, we want to know how to operate with them. Can we combine and add them? If so, how? Can we take away some number from another? That is, can we subtract one from the other? And so on. Which of the properties learnt earlier about the numbers hold now? Which are the new properties? We also see how these help us deal with our daily life situations. Page 155 Try these. 1. My mother divided an apple into four equal parts. She gave me two parts and my brother one part. How much apple did she give to both of us together? 2. Mother asked Nilu and her brother to pick stones from the wheat. Nilu picked one-fourth of the total stones in it and her brother also picked up one-fourth of the stones. What fraction of the stones did both pick up together? 3. Sohan was putting covers on his notebooks. He put one-fourth of the covers on Monday. He put another one-fourth on Tuesday and the remaining on Wednesday. What fraction of the covers did he put on Wednesday? Look at the following examples. A tea stall owner consumes in her shop two and a half litres of milk in the morning and one half litres of milk in the evening in preparing tea. What is the total amount of milk she uses in the stall? Or, Shekhar ate two chapatis for lunch and one and a half chapatis for dinner. What is the total number of chapatis he ate? Clearly, both the situations require the fractions to be added. Some of these additions can be done orally and the sum can be found quite easily. Do this. Make five such problems with your friends and solve them. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator, Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production, Soumya Malik. Producer, Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.